Hello, it's Ruby, and today I'm going to be talking to you about rewards and how these can actually be inhibiting the productivity and motivation in the long run. So I know that this sounds paradoxical. One thing which we are taught in school, something which is pretty much ingrained in our culture, is the idea that rewards are good. Rewards can sustain motivation. Rewards will keep you motivated. So one of the study tips which I've seen thrown around quite a bit is the idea of leaving chocolate or jelly beans at some point in, in your book so that when you reach it you get you get that as a reward. But today I'm going to tell you a little bit about why this might not be the best way to structure study sessions and to keep you motivated. So I recently read a book called Drive by David H. Pink. This really got me thinking about motivation and I went away and I did some research, I read some academic papers, I looked into some studies and I was really shocked by what I found because I wasn't expecting to see this. Now I've never really used a rewards based system when I'm studying. I've tried it once or twice but I always found myself getting distracted much more easily after I'd had the reward and I just found that in the long run it didn't really work for me. So what I learnt when I was researching really resonated with me because I could understand it from personal experience. So dull tasks can actually benefit from rewards. If you're doing something really monotonous like stacking boxes, an if then reward can actually be really great for giving you a motivational booster shot. However, in a study with Dan Ariely with students from MIT, it was found that tasks that had even the smallest requirement of cognitive ability showed a decrease in performance and productivity when rewards were used to motivate. And this, Ariadne claims, is because you're focused on the reward as opposed to the task in question. So your main intention is to finish the task so that you can get the reward, which is pretty much common sense, right? If we know that we've got a chocolate bar that they're waiting for us, we can't wait to get through the materials so that we can eat the chocolate bar. But the danger here is that we turn what we are doing intrinsically into work. And in our minds, it becomes work. It becomes something which is to be avoided. And that's quite a dangerous mindset to fall into. I know I've spoken about this before on my channel, but one thing I massively advocate for is trying to make studying, for example, fun. It should be something enjoyable, because if it's not, you just don't feel as motivated to go ahead doing it. And so the very premise of using rewards to motivate you means that you are indirectly saying that that task is work and that the reward is play. And the dangerous thing here is that we only tend to do what will qualify qualify us to get that reward so we won't do anything else once we've reached that part in the textbook we can eat that chocolate bar and we're done you know we can move on to the next thing that prevents us from going further so for example in the studying context that would prevent you from going ahead and learning something because you found it really interesting however from a productivity standpoint the psychologist Desi found that whilst it gives you some motivation in the short term in the long term it actually decreases your motivation so one of Desi's most famous studies was with something called the soma puzzle and basically this is where you have a selection of cubes put them together so that they can form the structure which you are shown on a piece of card and desi basically asked his participants to do this he give them a picture give them the cubes and then they had to assemble the cubes into the picture which they were given so with one of the groups he paid the money so for everyone that they did correctly they would get a dollar and then the other group basically were just told to do it then they took a break and Desi had left some magazines for both groups, which they could look through if they wanted to whilst they were on the break. It was found that those who were in the group that was paid were much more likely to read the magazines than those who weren't. More of those people were found to continue working on the puzzle. And this shows something really, really interesting. Desi says, when money is used as an external reward for some activity, the subjects lose intrinsic interest for the activity. And that's really damaging when we're thinking about motivation in the long run. And so if we're going to sustain motivation in the tasks that we do, rewards aren't actually that good a thing. Rather, we need to treat the activity as a kind of reward in itself. We need to appreciate it intrinsically. So I wonder whether it would be beneficial for us to have a shift in our terminology. So instead of thinking about our tasks as work, we should be thinking about them as play. Not only this, but in terms of breaks, 
I wonder whether it would be beneficial for us to move away from this idea of breaks as a reward because that again makes the activity that you're doing in itself stops being a reward it stops being useful in itself rather why not use the terminology I'm going to do something else for a little bit to refresh my mind or body and also I wonder what the implications here are for the education system which is obviously heavily based on grades which is quite a large reward <laughs> so basically there's some food for thought next time that you think about putting that jelly bean on your page to motivate you to study think about it whilst this is probably going to increase your motivation in the short term it's probably going to decrease your motivation in the long term and which one is more important i really hope that you enjoyed watching this video it's very different to what i usually film but i hope that it's helpful um i just found this book really interesting and i wanted to share some of the bits that i found with you but thank you so much for watching this video i hope that you enjoyed and i hope that you have a productive week